Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce Professor Patel. He's at present in Banaras Hindu University. He has very uh, large, almost 30 years experience of working in this field. He did his MSc in Applied Geology and then PhD from IIT Roorkee. His specialization is structural geo geology, fission track, thermochronology, and Him Himalayan tectonics. He has uh, almost 30 years of teaching experience, UG plus PG. He has published, he has got so many uh, research awards, Kosla Annual Research Award, and a medal from Roorkee University, and also Commonwealth Academic Staff Fellowship in 2005 at University College London in UK. He has published more than 30 international papers in international journals and more than 25 in national journals. He has guided 11 PhD students and 15 master's students, and there are four students still working under him. He has received a lot of projects to the tune of 445 lakhs, from DST as well as MOES. He has attended several seminar conferences, international as well as national, and he has a lot of membership of professional bodies, which includes Geological Society of India, Indian Geological Congress, Indian Geophysical Union, Journal of Himalayan Geology, Commonwealth Commission UK, International Thermochronology Community, Indian Science Congress Association and Kurukshetra University Teachers Association. And he has also developed National Center for Low Temperature Thermochronology, and that is being used throughout the country now. So with such a huge experience in the field, let's welcome Professor Patil uh, to give his talk today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Dr. Kiran for your nice introduction my pleasure and i am very happy that you have given me opportunity to interact with those students uh students of different parts of our country so thank you very much yes my my screen is visible now yes so should i start Yes, sir. Okay. Students, uh, you know me very well. So today my talk is on plate tectonics and dynamics of the mountain formations. You know that our Earth is active, active planet. Today also many activities, geological activities are going on means in different parts of our earth, like earthquakes, volcanoes, mountain building, floods, and many other and many other geological events are still going on. So these geological events are not only going on today, these geological events were going on since last, since geological past. So this, this geological events which are going on, these are means mainly explained by a by a concept called plate tectonics this plate tectonics is a very means a, a very significant very important means, a, means a concept in geology actually so <clears throat> let's see this what is this plate tectonics and, and how it means influence the means a formation of the mountain uh, mountains on the earth so See, this, uh, this theory was widely, this theory was widely mis, uh, mis, uh, uh, discussed during 1967. And that time this theory was proposed actually during 1967. But uh, since long, and I say, since long past, people were knowing, uh, knowing this idea. So, uh, so this what this plate tectonic theory mainly it uh, it says that it our our earth outer outer layer 
which is called lithosphere is fragmented into a into a number of plates and this number of plates are moving uh, moving relative to each other on the top of a, another miss layer do we miss that is mobile in nature and that, that is known as asthenosphere so this this is the miss uh, this is the miss concept of the theory um, <clears throat> so this theory miss so this theory, this idea was already known since long back, actually. So uh, uh, then this uh, this theory, uh, Miss X, this plate tectonics theory, which uh, Miss I Miss uh, which I told, that it you Miss uh, explain explain the Miss uh, explain the distribution of the earthquake volcanic activity zone around the globe. So th that's why this theory is widely accepted. See. This long I told that this long back, this theory was the idea was known by the people. So first man who who miss who miss uh, observed this theory is called he is Abraham Ortelius. So he miss suggested that this America, the America, this continent, it was turned away from Europe and Africa by earthquakes and flood. He just uh, this is a crude observation he has uh, uh, done that this America was separated from Europe and Africa uh, by earthquakes and flood. Are you, are you able to uh, are, you, uh, are you able to listen to me? Yes, friends? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So if you see why see, here you can see this 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 these two continents. My my uh, this pointer is miss visible to you. Yes, sir, it is visible. But if you okay. can convert that into laser pointer by right click, there is an option. Okay, right click, na. Uh, pointer options. Okay, 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 okay. Is it visible now? It is better. Pointer. Yes, sir. Okay, so you see, you can see this, 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 these two, this blue color and yellow color, this is the America, and this is the, this green color is the Miss Africa, and this yellow color is the Miss Europe. So this, all these were together, and then uh, when you can see that geometry, those are uh, properly fitting each other. So this Ortelius, he noticed these things, and based on this one, he, he told that this America was separated, those are fragmented, and uh, means uh, move away from Europe and Africa, by Miss Plot and earthquakes. So just he has observed this one. Later on, later on, this Alexander von, von Humboldt, he miss uh, he note, noted this geometry. What is geometry? Which I miss wrote this geometry he has noted and ge geological similarity. He noted Armis uh, in the opposing uh, opposing shore of the Atlantic Ocean. And then he suggested that the Atlantic Ocean was formed due to some catastrophic event. Some this major major art major events occur due to which this Atlantic Ocean was misformed. Then later on, this James Hutton, he just uh, he told that no, it is not the catastrophism, but it is replaced by some slow process, which is which is going on going on today and which were going on in the past. And that slow process is known as uniformitarianism, or it is or we can say that is actualism. So this this the slow process because of the slow process, they gradually this gradually these continents are separated very very slowly. And this, uh, and then they, 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 those have moved to the present position. So this law, or this this law, is known as the principle of uniformity. And this state that the present is key to the past. The, what is happening today? These things were these geological events are also going on in the past. So see, it means that this the, yeah, it means that the slow processes going on at or beneath the Miss Earth surface today have been going on throughout the geological time and have saved the surface record. Right. 
See, this, this is the just the history of the mis, uh, mis plate tectonics. So the, before we'll understand the plate tectonics, we should know what is, how this our earth is made up. So this our earth, it is made up of the mis, three layers. Topmost layer is called crust. Mis, then the middle layer is known as the mantle. And the, the mis, central layer is known as the core. The crust is very thinnest one with the, uh, the top of the earth where we, we live today. Then below this one is the mental, which is the most largest part of the, our earth. And below that one is the uh, outer core. And then at the center, we have the inner core. So like the three major, three, four major layers are present inside the earth. Out of this, the crust is the thinnest one. Mental is the largest one. And the core is the next, next, next one. See, this crust, that, that is the part of the crust where we live actually. And this crust is also it is mis, made of the two, uh, mis, two types. One is the continental crust. This continental crust, this is the continent landmass. That is the mis, uh, continental crust. And the crust which is present below the ocean, that is known as the oceanic crust. This continental crust, where this landmass is there, where these continents are there, the thickness of this continental crust is very uh, comparatively thicker one. And its thickness can vary vary from 10 to 70 kilometers. At some places, it is 10 kilometers. At some places, like in the mountain, this thickness of the continental cross is 70 kilometers. So, and this uh, continental cross are mainly the oldest part of the our earth. And then the oceanic cross, this is the thinnest one. And this uh, average thickness is around 7 to 15 kilometers. And uh, here, and this is the young, young one. Young, younger than the continental crust. The oceanic crust are the younger, and the continental crust are older. You, and another, another important thing, thing is that the continental crust density is comparatively low than the oceanic crust. That means we can say that this, this, the density of the oceanic crust is more than the continental crust. So, you see, this uh, the crust and this is the uh, upper part of the mantle. Here is where I'm moving. This is, this is the thinnest, the thinnest one, is the, the, the gray color is the cross, and below is this one is the upper mantle. Comprising these two parts, that is known as the lithosphere. And this lithosphere, means the lithosphere means the cross, total cross, and the upper part of the mantle. So this lithosphere is a rigid part. And below this one, below this one is the miss, uh, uh, miss, uh, lower, man, lower mantle, and which is also which is which is also we can say uh, which is which is also known as this, this asthenosphere where it is shown just this is asthenosphere. So uh, below lithosphere we have the asthenosphere, and this is the asthenosphere. It is uh, it is uh, miss, uh, it is mobile in nature, and here the rocks which are present those are partially melt in nature. So here we can say this rigid. Lithosphere is floating above the partially melt asthenosphere. So here we can see the mis, uh, mis, uh, mis complete picture of the mis our uh, mis, uh, mis uh, 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 complete picture of the mis uh, picture of this uh, different layers. It, uh, here you can see the continent, this is thick one. This is the continent, and this thin one. This is the oceanic crust. This ocean part. And then this, this where it is this lithosphere it is written that is the mis, uh, upper mantle combining this continent and uh, with this uh, uh, upper mantle that is known as the asthenosphere. Below we have the uh, mis asthenosphere which is partially made in made, which is partially made in condition. And below this asthenosphere we have the mesos mesosphere that is the lower mantle uh, lower mantle than the uh, core part. So this, this way, our this uh, inside the earth, the different layers are present. So the main feature of this, this main feature, uh, main feature is that this outer layer of the earth, or this outer layer of the earth, which is known as the lithosphere, that is the miss, that is the miss, that is that is that is floating above the asthenosphere, and this is this 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 class, this division. The lithosphere and asthosphere is division is made on made on based on the mechanical properties. The mechanical properties and in the mis, based on the, the heat transfer. 
So this uh, lithosphere is mechanically, uh, it is cooler one and more rigid, whereas the ast ast asthenosphere is the hot, it is hot one and it is comparatively cool in nature. And then in terms of the heat transfer, the lithosphere, means in the lithosphere, heat transfer, transfer by conduction process, whereas, whereas in the asthenosphere, heat is transferred by the convection process. Because in the asthenosphere, the, the, the rocks is present in the melt stage, so the here heat is transferred by convectional process. And what in the lithosphere, this it is rigid in nature. So here this heat is transferred by conduction process. So here that means we can say in the in the asthenosphere, there is a convectional current and a convectional current above which this means above which this rigid lithosphere is present. So this this lithosphere, this lithosphere means it is known as the tectonic plates. Which, which ride on the fluid like viscoelastic visco solid one asthenosphere. And this, uh, this plates, which I told, the lithosphere, which, are, which is known as the plates, which are fragmented one, and these plates are mm -hmm. these plates are moving, and the rate, <laughs> rate of the movement of the plates are, it is means, ranging from 10 to 40 millimeter, means in the mid-Atlantic ridge. The, in the Atlantic, the Atlantic, in, at, the middle, at the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, there is a ridge. There is a rate of moment, it, it is varying from 10 to 40, milli, 40 millimeter. Whereas this rate of moment is, moment is very large, is high, uh, that is around 160 kilometers just at the, miss, uh, at the western margin of the miss, uh, uh, South America. The, where this, uh, 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 so the, the, the rate of movement is very large, very high uh, in the uh, Pacific, Pacific Ocean, whereas the rate of movement is low in the, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean. So these things, what I discussed so far, the different layers of the earth, the rate of movement of the different plates, these are mainly uh, studied based on based on the, the different geological survey and based on the geological, uh, geological observations. The principle of the this, uh, plate tectonics actually uh, it is totally based on the miss, miss, many miss, many other concepts like the, the, what I discussed the lithosphere and asthenosphere, and which uh, this lithosphere which is divided into different plates, and then the convectional current in the asthenosphere. These are different concepts. So based on all these concepts, this plate tectonics theory theory it is derived. Sir. The plate tectonics theory, what are the major assumptions in the plate tectonics theory is that this uh, new plates, new plates or new oceanic lithospheres, uh, 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 lithospheres are generating due to sea floor spreading around the mid oceanic ridge. At the, at the middle of the ocean, there is a ridge, there is a highland where, the, where this uh, volcanic, activities, uh, volcanic activities are going on. And because of this volcanic activity, New lava is coming out, and new oceanic, new oceanic lithosphere is forming there. And this, this new, yes. Uh, would you like to take questions in the flow or uh, at the end? At the end, better it will be. Uh, yeah, if anybody who, who can ask now, they can ask now, no problem. But it will be better to take question at the end. Okay, sir. Then, uh, no, all participants put the question in the chat. We can take them okay, at the okay. end. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, uh, yeah, just can you just give me, give, give, tell me the question, no problem. Uh, I mean, the immediate question here was uh, that there are num different number of plates. So is the number uh, conserved or the plates may go on merging, getting created? But I mean, does the theory suggest or model but suggest that put there, there can be certain fixed numbers or the number also decreases over the years or increases over the year? Oh, the number of plates. Number of plates. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 when this number of plates will join each other, that time, that time, that time the plates number, miss number, miss generally, miss it will be miss decrease that time. Uh, but uh, this, uh, when these plates, plates will be fragmented, the new plates will be generated. That time, the number of plates will increase. The plates number it is not uh, miss uh, generally it increase or decrease with geological time. It will not happen in the miss uh, within uh, few years or uh, so, just one or are two. Are there any anything that suggests that over a long geological period 
the total number is increasing uh, what is, is there any kind of trend uh to, so far there is no such uh, miss uh, miss uh, there, there is will there is a cycle of the miss uh, yeah cycle there is wilson cycle actually here uh, miss there the, uh -huh. the plates are generating gradually then generating and then they're colliding and becoming one becoming 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 a one plate then again okay. it is fragmenting then miss, uh, miss uh, yeah, fragmenting and becoming many plates and again those are moving and then colliding and becoming one uh, one place. So this is increasing and decreasing going on actually. Thank you, sir. Okay. So this number of plates actually see the Wilson cycle is there. See, this is this is in the cycle actually. So plates create, then again it moves, then collided, becomes one plate, again this is fragmented. Then these things are happening with the geological time. Any other question? Uh, no question in the chat yet. Okay. So the, now just uh, miss, uh, like we, I can give one example that India, India was early, uh, initially miss, there was one plate. Initially there is one plate that is known as that, that, that is now we have named as a Pangea. And this plate was then separated into two plates like uh, Eurasia, uh, Eurasia and Gondona land. Then this Gondona land from the Gondona land, it is further separated into many other many plates, like uh, Gondwana like Antarctica, South America, North America, in, in India, Africa. So it, like many plates, it is separated. And then when you see this India, this Indian plate, it has moved this uh, northeastward, and then it has collided into Eurasia. And now this you can say this is a part of the uh, Eurasian plate. But still, we consider because still the boundary is existing. So we say this is now Miss Indian in Indian Australian plates. So like that, some plates are Miss separating and then joining. This thing is happening in geological time. Okay. So at the mid oceanic ridge, ridge new new Miss Miss new lithosphere or new crust cross is formed, and that becomes part of the part of the plate but this you see the the new litho new oceanic lithosphere once created from part of the rigid, rigid plate and this plate may or may not include in continental material the plates which uh, which is generating at a mid oceanic ridge that plates may may include the continents sometimes it may not be it may not include any continent may be completely it is the oceanic crust and sometimes it may it, it may be miss uh, oceanic crust plus continental crust so another important thing is that the Earth's surface area remains constant. We know that this, uh, that means uh, the first assumption uh, says that at the oceanic ridge, new crust is forming. That means the, oceans, uh, the uh, ocean, ocean floor is spreading. Then oceanic floor is now it is miss increasing. That means we can, you can think that the total Earth's surface area should increase. Once this uh, means, uh, new crust is forming, total Earth's surface area should increase. But it is not happening. And um, this thing is miss, uh, this uh, this uh, spreading. It is uh, it is balanced by the consumption of the miss, uh, older crust. The older crust which, which is formed, it is consuming somewhere and uh, consuming somewhere, somewhere, and it is balancing the total miss, our surface area, which is which is constant. The lithosphere, this lithosphere, which is miss, uh, the lithosphere, which are which we say plates. These plates have capability capability to transferring the stresses over great horizontal distance without deformation. The, when these plates move without deforming, without without miss changing its shape, it transfers the stress for transfer the stress miss, in the long distance. So these are the miss, major assumption. One one first assumption is that. At the oceanic ridge, new lithosphere is forming, and this and the sea floor sea floor spreading is going on, and the sea floor spreading is balanced by the consumption of the older 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 crust, and this stress, the stress because of this moment of the plate, the stress which is there, that stress the stress is transferring to a, is transferring to a, to a long great distance without deforming the plates. So these are the major assumption of the plate tectonics. So, 
here you can see our uh, miss uh, on the uh, miss on the hour many players are there out of those many players some are the major one yeah, and some are the minor players this major and minor this is based on the this uh, based on the area the major players area 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 is around 10 to the power 7 square more than 10 to the power 7 square kilometers whereas the minor players this area is less than 10 to the power 7 square kilometers then here you can see this there are several major plates like north american plate south american plate pacific plate like many major plates are there and also we have minor plates in the northern hemisphere we have the juan de puka plate cocoj plates caribbean plate Carolian plate, Philippines plates. In the southern hemisphere, also we have several plates like Najia plates, Scotia plates, Somali plates, Fiji plates. All these, so like that, we have major plates and minor plates. I will show you in this the next diagram. Here you can see, here different plates are there. This is the, where I am moving this point. Out. This is a Eurasian plate, this is North American plate, and this is the Eurasian plate. And here we have the Indo Indo Australian plate. It, it includes the, our Indian Indian continent, uh, some some part of the uh, Indian Ocean, in Australia also. Then you can you can see here at the middle we have the uh, Pacific plate, which is completely made of the uh, oceanic crust only. Then we have the South American plates. Uh, then we have the uh, African plates. So like that, major plates are there. And in between we have the small plates are there, like in, uh, Najika plates. And then the, here we have the Arabian plates. It's a small, similar, many small plates are also there. And we can see these plates are bounded by the three different type of margins. The one type of margin, it is solid one with a triangle is there. Triangles is there. And then another, another place you can see there is solid line without triangle. And then, is, then another type of miss margin, which is across this miss, across this across this miss margin, like this uh, straight lines are shown there. So, like three types of margins are there, which is miss, separating, which is, miss, which is separating the, the different plates. Here, this is the miss one satellite image of the miss this specific plate. You can see. This specific plate is bounded by this different type of uh, margin. You, where, where I'm moving this pointer, here you can see some uh, some dark uh, line, line type of their thing is there. This is depression one. I mean, it is uh, means highly deep, uh, means, uh, deep, uh, means it is deep ocean one. And here you can see at, uh, means the, where I'm moving this one, where I'm moving this pointer, this, this is another type of boundary. This is called a mid-oceanic ridge. Is mid-oceanic ridge. So here, this uh, here new cross stitch, I mean, new cross stitch form. And across this mid-oceanic ridge, you can see there is another uh, another type of uh, margin. Another type of margin are there. This is a third type of margin. So these three types of margins separate the different plates. So here you can see this the, where I'm moving this one, this uh, this pointer. This is the Pacific plates. This Pacific plate. This is also known as the ring of fire because here you see around this place we have lots of earthquakes and volcanoes also. So that's why it is known as the ring of fire. So these plates are moving, moving in different directions. And here, here I have shown the rate of the movement of the different plates. You can see this uh, here where I'm moving. This is the uh, this is the oceanic ridge in the in the Pacific Ocean. Here, this rate of movement it varying from 108 millimeter, 108 millimeter, 156 millimeter like that. And here, this here you can see where it is where, where here you can see these plates are moving away from each other. The here this arrow is so so that this 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 play, this Pacific area where it is written, this is moving towards the left at 134 millimeter per year and here you can see towards uh, right it is also moving at uh, at the similar rate uh, uh, similar rate so here here this that means may, may here this sea uh, sea flow spreading is going on then you, here you can see another one the uh, blue color line with triangles are there and here you can see this uh, this arrow those are those are converging Converging towards the line, 
You means here, here that means here these two plates are means coming coming close to each other. So this is the second type of margin. Then the third type of margin you can see. You can see here uh, where I'm moving this one, this line without a triangle or without uh, with, uh, the blue lines, uh, thin line without any triangle. This is another type of mar margin. This is your, this is your, uh, here. The, here, what is happening? The, the two plates are uh, miss, uh, those are in contact to each other, but here there is no diverging or no converging. So this is third type of margin. So um, here one is one one type of margin converging is there. Another time of margin, there is a diverging, a diverging is there. And third time of margin, there is no converging or diverging. So like that, the plates are separated by the three types of margin. Here you can see how the plates, the plates are uh, means moving. Means, uh, those are fragmented and moving. Here you can see, just you can see this Africa. Here there is a, means at the eastern side, there is a black color boundary is there. That is now at present it is rifting at rifting, and this 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 part is not separated completely, not separated from the Africa. So that that means this is new plate is generating here. So because of this plate, you can see this uh, the, at the plate margin, uh, almost in along the plate margin, you can see the mountains. Here, the, here, here there is another one plate margin then uh, in the western side of the uh, North America. There you can see the uh, Rocky Mountain. Then we have the plate margin in the uh, western side of the uh, South America. There the Andes Mountain is there. And here we have this Indo-Australian Indo plate is there in the, in the, uh, in the uh, northernmost side. Uh, this margin is there, the uh, margin is there, uh, converging margin. And in there, there this Himalaya is there. So like that, you can see almost along the margins, we have the mountain beds. That means this plate tectonics has a major role in the, in the evolution or in the development of the mountain beds. We'll see that one in later slide. So the plates are, how the plates are moving? The plates are moving, uh, moving due to the convectional current, which is, which, which is present in the, in the asthenosphere. So here you can see this is one the miss, uh, miss one example is there uh, given and one in the beaker some uh, water is there and uh, just above the water these two wooden blocks are there and this beaker is heated from the bottom and because of this heat the convection current is generating and this the, you can see these two blocks of the wood those are moving away from each other so similar similar miss, the similar things is happening within the arc within the arc. These convectional currents are present in the asthenosphere, and these convectional currents are rising at one place, uh, rising at one place, and in, in the other side, those are going down. So, because of this uh, convectional current, these plates are miss, uh, spreading, the plates are moving away from, pull away from each other, miss, uh, away from each other, each other where this, miss, the, uh, where this, uh, um, uh, where this uh, miss, uh, convectional current are rising, and where this convectional current are going on, that the plates are going down. So that means what I want to say is that at the middle, where it is this uh, miss, uh, conventional current rising, that the new plates is generating, and the old old uh, old part of the plates that is uh, going down, uh, where this where the conventional current is going down. So here in this in the miss uh, on the art it is shown how these conventional currents are there. And uh, and how this uh, means, uh, means how this conventional current are responsible for the um, uh, for the means, uh, for the means, uh, generation of the new crust at along the mid oceanic ridge, and and also where this conventional current is going down here you can see this plate is moving downward and th that means here the plates are converging here. So this is the just one uh, miss, uh, diagram. Which uh, uh, this man is pushing his plates at one place, and at another side the man is pulling the plates down. So like that, this uh, at one place the play, uh, two uh, one one place the two plates are pushing away from each other, and another place the plates is pulling down, pulling down the deeper part. So the, the three types of margin we'll discuss a little bit about the different type of margin. So the three types of margin are like convergent margin, where the two plates are converging. 
one plate is moving down to the another plate that is called a conversion margin and the, when the miss uh, this uh, and this uh, margin what the, what the new cost is this uh, new cost is evolving that margin is known as the divergent margin and there is a third type of margin which i told where there is no conversion no divergent so that is that that type of margin is called called transform boundary so conversion boundary divergent boundary and transform boundary so here we say three types of um, there are uh, boundaries i have shown in the triangle so at one place you can see there is extension of the cross where the, there is a divergent of the boundary extension of the cross is going on and the, means where the convergent of the boundary is convergent of the convergent boundary is there they have here the shortening of the cross is going on and the third type of boundary where there is no means extension and no shortening is no shortening is going on here this one the satellite imagery of a means convergent convergent boundary so here you see this is uh, this boundary joining the alaska uh, alaska with the means uh, uh, with uh, means uh, uh, eurasia so here this, you can see this is the, uh, along this boundary the along this the convergent boundary there is island arcs islands are there and just towards uh, towards uh, south of this island arc we have a dark uh, means uh, dark layer is there that is the deep, deepest part of the ocean and that is known as a trench where the, the deeper the, the, the where, where this plate is uh, means converging there and that that there, there this uh, deep sea is there and that is known as the trench here see what is happening in the convergent boundary here one plate this green color where this arrow is shown this part is miss moving below the another miss another plate so here these two plates are converging converging towards each other so where where it is converging there are deep sea deep sea is there and that deep sea is known as a trench here we see this this is lithosphere below astronosphere in the astronosphere convectional current is there, there and uh, this uh, this uh, lithosphere is converging below the uh, another um, another miss uh, another plate and when it is convert uh, convert and it is moved downward to greater depth that 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 part of the miss uh, lithosphere it melts and this magma it comes out as a miss uh, volcano miss uh, above the uh, above the other plates and here uh, uh, these things happen in case of the uh, in case of the convergent boundary so there are three miss uh, three types of the convergent plate boundary boundaries one is a continent continent collision they are where the two continents will be um, is, um, converge towards each other that type of margin is known as the continent continent miss collision margin and then the second type of margin is the continent ocean cross collision margin where the one oceanic cross with will move below the another another plate another continental plate in this case oceanic cross is moving below the continent so that is second type of margin and third type of margin that one oceanic cross will move below the another oceanic cross so three ways there are three types of convergent 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 plate boundary so we uh, have understood about the miss convergent plate boundary then the next type the next type is the divergent plate boundary uh, here you see in the divergent plate boundary here the, the plates are pulled away from each other and that is also known as the sea floor spreading this is uh, and one theory it is give uh, suggested by a scientist called harry s sea floor spreading that means the sea floor is spreading there is widening also where it is where it is the widening occurs that is also known as the rip zone here rippling is going on so this uh, rippling zone means it is mainly means extend means extend in the middle of the ocean but there is a one place on the earth where this mid oceanic ridge or or i can say the divergent margin is extend it is extended uh, means on the continent there and that continent is known that is continent is iceland 
so this uh, the divergent margin it is cutting across the iceland so that's why in the icelands we have we have volcanoes means uh, we have lots of volcanoes there so so this is this, already i have told that this uh, the spreading of the or the or the, or the or the formation of the new cross this is this is known as the sea floor spreading and this theory is given by the harry as during 1960 so here you see uh, this uh, mid atlantic ridge which is located at uh, located at the middle of the miss atlantic ocean, ocean that is the longest mountain chain uh, mountain chain on the earth and its length is around 5600 kilometers so <clears throat> And so this 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 mid oceanic ridge is a slow spreading ridge, and then another ridge it is here it is shown that is the East Pacific mid ridge, or it is it is also known as the ridge or ridge. These ridge are similar 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 mid similar thing ridge or ridge. So here we have the East Pacific ridge, and this is the this is the mid rapid uh, rapid spreading ridge. So the ridge means can be visible like this. Means here you can see it is a high land and a high ridge, and it is and this is the bottom side of the bottom side. So this mid oceanic ridge, ridge, ridge formed like this. <laughs> Initially it was a solid continent. Then due to the due to this uh, convectional current. This here, this uh, means, uh, means here, this extension of the cross occur, and this uh, because of the extension of the cross, the, the, the fracture zones are developed, and uh, this uh, different fault. These are called the fault. Along this one, these different blocks of the blocks of the rocks, blocks of the rocks will move like that, and this uh, this uh, cross cross length is increases, and at at the middle there is one part is it has moved downward. And that part is known as the graben. So uh, the graben and the middle part is known as the axial part of the graben. So first, the small graben is developed, and gradually, when it move away from the away from each other, and uh, when uh, volcanic volcanic activity occur, new crust is started forming, and the ocean is also start ocean is also form like this. Then the third type of boundary. This is called a transform boundary. Here you can see the transform boundary. It it cut across this uh, across some this other other type of other boundary that is mid oceanic ridge. In first, this is the mid oceanic ridge. This is a mid oceanic ridge, and this mid oceanic ridge is separated separated this one, and this uh, this separation is due to due to this moment along this uh, along this fracture. So this is called a transform fault. So along this fault, you can see there is no this destruction. Or there is no construction, so the, the this is means uh, no no destruction is going on. So the so this is the, this type of margin is called a transform margin. This uh, here on the land, this transform margin can be or uh, can be observed like this. Also in the satellite image, image it is taken. Uh, this is one satellite image. We can see this transform mar margin how it is displayed along this this line. So this 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 is the trace of the transform fault within the ocean. Here another diagram I have shown um, how the transform margins uh, looks like. Here, here this this is the miss, uh, miss, uh, mid oceanic ridge. This may, and here also this is mid oceanic ridge. Along the mid oceanic ridge, you can see this uh, lava uh, lava is coming out and new crust is formed. And here this mid, uh, both mid mid oceanic ridge it is separating by fracture and that is that that along this fracture some moment has occurred. Occur and that that is called a uh, that is called a transform fault. This transform fault has a two two type of zone. Uh, this zone which is uh, this zone or the parts of the transform fault which is located between these two uh, mid oceanic ridge. That is the active part. Whereas this part which is away away from this uh, mid oceanic ridge, this part and this part are known as the inactive transform uh, inactive uh, fracture zone or inactive transform fault zone. 
So here, this one example, one miss example of this uh, transform fault, uh, which is miss very close, uh, which is uh, associated with our in, in Indian plate. That is the O-N fracture zone. So O-N fracture zone it extends within the miss uh, within the Indian Ocean and extend to extend to the Indian Ocean and extend uh, extend uh, across the miss uh, across the Pakistan and uh, it is come uh, it is it extend up to the miss uh, up to the miss, uh, there is a mountain called uh, Nanga Parbat. So this is this this is the miss uh, this uh, this is the miss transform fault and this is known as the Owen fracture zone, which is close to our Indian plate. Here you can see this is the satellite imagery of the miss uh, imagery of the same transform uh, transform fault the Owen fracture zone. This is the Owen fracture zone. You can see and along this Owen fracture zone, this is the mid uh, uh, miss Indian in, Indian uh, miss uh, oceanic Indian uh, Indian oceanic ridge, which is uh, separated here. You can see this part is truncating along this line, and here this this part is there. So this is the this is the wind fracture zone, and this is another miss uh, transform fault which extended in the western side of the Indian Indian plate. So the uh, one the active transform fault for uh, transform fault is located uh, in the miss uh, western side of the miss North America American plate that is known as the San Francisco uh, that is known as the uh, that is known as San Andreas fault. San Andreas fault it means it is located in the western side of the miss uh, uh, North America and due to this fault many bays are developed in, in the miss western side of the North America where this San Francisco, that city is located. So when you combine all these three types of boundary, it looks like that. This picture will be like this. Here at the middle, we can see this is the mid oceanic ridge where the new cross is forming. And then this uh, older, older, older cross, older lithosphere is moving, out, moving away. And gradually you can see uh, this older part of the, this, uh, this lithosphere or older cross, it, it, is, it is moving below the miss uh, another plate this is a conversion boundary and here at the middle we have to miss uh, cutting uh, we have to miss uh, fault which are cutting across this mid ocean degree those are the transform fault in a mean uh, in a complete pictures this looks like that so here you see how this uh, miss uh, miss uh, diverging divergent the diverging is going on the sea floor is going on and this plate is moved down below the another plates so because of, see because of this plate techniques the miss the three distinct types of orogeny beds are developed one is this uh, island arc and trench uh, trenches which uh, trenches then cordillera type of mountain range Collisional type of mountain range. And the NFB four type of mountain range is that extensional or strike slip uh, plate, uh, strike slip uh, plate motion type of miss mountain range. See, the three types of uh, collisional mountain range, uh, the convergent mountain ranges are located in different uh, parts of our uh, earth. See, here is, I have written one. This one, this one mountain range is this, here. One oceanic cross is subducting below the another oceanic cross. Then the second, here the oceanic cross is subducting below the miss uh, continental cross. This is the Cordilleran type of mountain bed. And third one, here this third I have written in the you can see in the India where the India is located. Here this uh, the continental cross is colliding. Um, it has collided with another uh, miss continental cross. So this is the third type of mountain range. There are three ways. Because of the plate tectonics, the mountain mountain beds are developed. See, first time I told that um, when the oceanic crust is subducted below the another oceanic crust, so that time when the oceanic crust is subducted to a greater depth, here at greater depth, this oceanic uh, the oceanic crust is, it is melted and magma is generated and the magma is coming out and form the island arc. Here you can see. Mm, this uh, one island arc is there in the south of the miss uh, Japan. Uh, this one and this island arc joined this Taiwan and Japan. So here this side is the miss uh, this is the Pacific plate, 
and this is the urethral plate urethral plate urethral plate uh, urethral plate and uh, but uh, with the urethral plate the oceanic crust is attached so this one of pacific plate is subducting below the another oceanic plate attached to the urethral plate and because of this subduction here the island arc is formed and this is one kind of mountain back so Here you see how this uh, this uh, island arc mountain bed is formed. Here uh, it is shown. This is subduction is there. Partially it is melted, and the magma is coming out. And then island arc is formed. The next one is that Cordilleran type of mountain bed. In this case, oceanic crust is means it is moved below the continental crust, like uh, our North America and South America. In the western side of the North America and South America. The Pacific plate, Pacific plate, plate, it is subducting below the say Pacific plate or Najika plate is subducting below the Miss American plate. And when this uh, this plate, this oceanic plate is subducted, it is partially mad, and uh, and that mat has come out as a volcano, and I am volcano and mountain bed is formed. Here you can see this. This is the South. This is the one satellite image of South South America. And the western side of the South America, we have the Andes mountain bed. So this Andes mountain bed is formed because of the subduction from the uh, subduction of the oceanic crust below this, below this uh, South American South, South American plate. Here you see here uh, here this, this Najika plate is subducting here, uh, subducting below the South America plate. And here it, in in right hand side. Because of the subduction, the subduction, the, 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 the volcanoes are also volcanoes are present. That's a, I mean, that's a, I mean, at present also in the north, South America, we have several volcanoes. Then the third type of mountain belt is the continent-continent collision. Best example, uh, example is our Himalayan mountain belt. This Himalayan mountain belt is formed due to collision between the Indian plate. And Eurasian plate. This is our India, and the northern side is our Eurasia. Because of this collision, this uh, this Himalayan mountain belt is formed. So, uh, the, because of this collision, at present also this collision is continuing in the Himalaya. So, uh, because of the continuous movement of this Indian plate towards uh, towards uh, Eurasia, towards the northern side, at present also earthquakes are occurring in the Himalaya. This is some photographs of the Himalaya you can see. And how this India has moved, you can see in the left side, this India has gradually moved during different type and different times, and finally it has collided with the Eurasian plate. This is some, some photographs, of the beautiful photographs of the, the Himalaya. So, so this 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 is about the how the different mountain beds are formed mm -hmm. due to plate techniques that I have discussed. Okay, I have uh, mis completed my talk here. Yes. Hello. Yes. Very nice talk. Very. Uh, general and very informative talk, sir. Well, I hope the talk is open for questions. Yes. There are already, already some questions in the chat. I will start asking. <coughs> Those who have questions can type in their questions in the chat box and then we'll ask some. Professor Mahesh Shetty has already asked. <coughs> so, how does one measure the motion of plates? These plates are measured by uh, using some uh, instrument. Actually, instruments is there. Uh, mm -hmm. That is GPS. GPS also GPS is used to measure this. Uh, measure this one. And another thing is that so in the mid oceanic reach, see, I have told that the sea flow spreading is going on. Yeah. So when the sea flow spreading is going on, so deep, uh, they have the volcanic activities are going on, and this uh, the, the, the lava flow also occurs. So mm -hmm. during different time, time the lava flows are occurring, mm -hmm. and this, this from the different this, uh, different lava flow samples have been collected and those have been dated, mm -hmm. and it is found that 
close to this mid oceanic ridge age is young, younger one and as one move away from the mid oceanic ridge age is older one uh, by determining the age we can we can estimate the how much how at what rate that plate is spreading so there are two now gps system is there gps can be used and this is the second this is the indirect methods we can use to measure the rate of movement of the plates yes but uh, when uh, this, uh, given the fact that this, this is a very slow motion uh, huh. is, is the gps uh, accurate enough to uh, measure the difference of the motion uh, uh... The, 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 I ask, excuse me, what is your question? No, no, sir. The next point, next question is that since this motion uh, of tectonic plates is very slow, it happens over uh -huh. years, is the uh -huh. GPS accurate enough to, uh, to make out the difference? Yeah. Between... Okay. That, that is actually not uh, my, my part, actually, but uh, uh, G G G G GPS, uh, GPS, uh, also G uh, some uh, good, uh, miss, uh, good GPS are also used, and people okay. are doing it actually to measure okay. this uh, rate, uh, measure the rate of the movement of the plates actually. Okay, we used to show one satellite image where one could see the boundaries. So that is, uh, I mean, uh, what kind of uh, imaging technique is used there? Any. Uh, these are actually not the part of my topic actually so sorry actually i cannot okay. reply what type of image okay. are used to take in this one but this is a satellite okay. image actually there's other people work actually in this one okay there's another question so indian related plate... to tectonic plate tectonic uh, some questions are there then that will be nice yes the I next can... question is about that uh, so see the question is uh, by Ms. sharad bhalerao indian plate is moving towards Beneath the Eurasian plate. Yes. Can this process go on in future as well? What is the yeah, fate actually, of the this, what is the fate yeah, of the Indian plate? Uh, yeah, actually, see this uh, uh, this uh, India it is separated uh, separated from the Miss uh, Gondwana land and it is moving since the, uh, since that time 230 250 million years time. And it is moving and moving. And at present also, it is uh, it is pushing towards Eurasia at a rate of four centimeter per year. Okay. So it will uh, at, at, uh, it will continue in the future also. And that's why this Himalaya is rising today also. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so and uh, earthquakes are because of this uh, of movements of these plates. Eh? Uh, earthquakes, uh, earthquakes which are going on because this Indian plate is pushing towards the Eurasia. So because yeah. of the pushing, this stress accumulation is going on in the Himalayan region. So okay. when this stress is mis released, that time earthquakes are occur. Yeah, but those earthquakes are not necessarily at the uh, plate boundaries. Is it? They can be anywhere inside. Uh, yeah, we see. Uh, generally, miss generally wherever miss miss stress accumulation will be there, and okay. stress release will be there. There, this earthquakes occur. This main mechanism of the earthquakes is that due to the faulting. When the one oh. block will move up and down, that time this uh, this earthquakes occur. So wherever okay. this this type of moment will occur, the earthquakes can occur. Like in inside the India, we have Jabalpur region. You will see in Jabalpur okay. region, earthquakes are uh, occurring. In okay. Jabalpur region, there is a major fracture zone okay. along which some moments occur actually. So that's okay. why the earthquakes occur inside the mist plate also. So, and okay. there, are, there, is, there is another mechanism also the people are saying, the induced earthquakes, like okay. uh, Koina Dam. That okay. the Koina Dam, the dam, the dam is constructed and lots of water has accumulated. And because of this water pressure, the, due to okay. the uh, pressure also, some moments okay. has occurred. And because of that one, this earthquakes can occur at, not only in, along the margin, but some other places, or some other places also. Okay. So there is uh, one more question by uh, Ruchit Shete. So by measuring motion of plates, can one find when earthquake will occur? And actually, see till now, Miss uh, Miss it, uh, till now no uh, Miss uh, till now no such. Uh, uh, this study has been carried out to predict the earthquakes actually. It's difficult to uh, predict the earthquakes. Just I mean, we, uh, pattern of the occurrence of the earthquakes, it is just uh, people say 
Around that time, earthquakes may occur, but actually, accurate prediction is not possible at present. Okay. Right. So uh, there are some statistical models, uh, I think, for uh, uh, understanding earthquakes. I mean, are you uh, 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 have you uh, I mean, studied them? There is some. Uh, I mean, uh -huh. self self organized critical model. Do you have any idea how? Uh, Actually, yeah, some, some yeah. many studies have been carried out, but uh, um, accurately, it is not possible to say. Okay. okay. Yes. Some statistical pattern has observed. Some statistical pattern has observed within in a in a interval of fifty years, thirty years, earthquakes are occurring. So that way, just it is told that around that time earthquakes may occur. But actually, at what time, what day it will occur, it is difficult to know actually. Okay. Are these are these data of motion available on some kind of website? Uh, available to students or common men? Uh, I think uh, lots of papers are there. Uh, research papers are available there. But so some, there are... some kind of raw data is available to people. Uh, uh, raw data data in, like like know, astronomy, a lot of data is made available. Yeah, yeah. Raw, raw data means uh, uh, actually that, that yes. at, on which day, uh, how much was the motion or whatever that uh, tag is that is moving uh, probably on the land some kind uh -huh. of tag will be moving no? so that will be recorded by satellite so uh -huh. so that kind of data is available or or how do uh how do uh there are some agencies there are uh -huh. some agencies actually might be they have uh, but in that field actually i'm not working my field is mainly different than that one actually like thermochronology we I know the thermal history of the rocks, how the rocks are coming from the greater depth of the surface. That I okay. study actually. Okay. So, so this data might these are available with some agency. And I, I know some research papers who have research papers in which the, the, the rate of movement of the plates have been published actually. Sir, if you can share those, then uh, maybe we, I can share those with participants. Uh... Uh -huh. if, if it is yes, possible, yes, you know, yes, you yes, yes. mail me those I, papers. I, I, I can share. Give me your those. email address. Give me uh, your email address. I will. Uh, sir, uh, send I have been, sir, I'm Mahesh Chetty communicating with you on the. The students will they can communicate with oh. me if they, uh, they they if they are interested they they can communicate to me. I will send them. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, um, so now I think you have. Uh, Another, uh, you also have expertise in Himalayan uh, ranges, right? Mountains. Mm -hmm. and now that question, because there is a lot of development going on, and you would like to do some uh, development there. The question has become now actually pertinent: How fragile are Himalayan ranges? So, uh, mm -hmm. can you can you shed uh, any light? I mean. If one has to do development, what see, precautions? You see, actually, uh, means our Himalayan mountain range it is an active mountain belt. Okay. And the active mountain belt means here the tectonic activities are st still continuing. Okay. So, means, uh, yes, I, I don't, there are some major major boundaries are there, like okay. uh, main frontal thrust, main central boundary thrust, main central thrust. So okay. along those uh, means, uh, major thrust, major fracture zone, some moments are going on. So that way okay. I can say this is a fragile one. So okay. we have to, we should take care during uh, some development work actually. Okay. So actually, so you mean uh, if we do some uh, development there, that might create another uh, rupture point where stress can get accumulated? The, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, see, like the Tehri Dam, it is constructed, this is a major project. Yes. Till now, it, means it has not created any problem. Okay. So we have to take risk actually, but uh, still we have to be careful actually. It is not like that uh, we can uh, construct okay. uh, or we can do lots of development work. You see, recently what okay. happened? Uh, okay. People have not studied this uh, that uh, people have not uh, noticed that one properly. That's uh, some that along the tunnel, some collapse occur and 41 yes. people have, have been trapped actually. Yes, yes, that is right. Yes. Yeah, is, are there any more questions from the students? I, 
I guess uh, there, there are no more questions. So can we wind up, uh, my sir? Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, yes. For... So we should thank you for taking out time uh, and giving such such a wonderful talk to our students. Uh, you, I mean, you told, really in detail. You told how uh, tectonic plates are formed, how they move, what are different types. And, yes, yeah. uh, their consequences. It was really uh, informative lecture, and uh, we, uh, on behalf of uh, IAPT, and also of course, I take this uh, opportunity to thank you on behalf of Wilson College uh, for uh, sharing your time here. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Mahesh, thank you very much. You, uh, Mahesh, can you take one? Yes, sir. Uh, there is. Uh... There is a request, uh, sir. Can you share this presentation so if you can? Yeah, I, I have share. I have share. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, participants. Uh, we will continue with our next session at eleven forty-five with the same link. Okay. Till then, you may stay here or you can join back at eleven forty-five.